Alrighty, hey everybody! Welcome back to Buddy Simulator uh, 1984. I'm uh, going to figure out how we... I think it was the adventure of Lindy? So... We're gonna see... Oh, that's right, we were inside our house. Um, so I think we need to go across to the... Oh my god. We gotta go across to the, uh... To the other side of the water. To the north we go! Okay. It's been, like, a hot minute since I've played this game. I feel really bad it's taken this long to get the next episode out, but, uh... This week ended up being a little... A little crazier than uh, than I expected, but anyways, let's go see what the turtle has in store for us. I think he lives over here, or not? Maybe he lives up here. Okay, here he is. Hello, it's good to see you again. Thank you for helping out the town folk, it really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But most importantly, you are our hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster who has terrorized us for many years has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it lurks in the shadows. It's known as the Snoodlewonker. <laughs> I forgot that's what it was called. Okay, Morton was the only one to ever fight it off and win. You know, the small rock with the top hat. Talk to him and he will be able to show you how he did it. Okay, I think, um... I think if I remember correctly, we left him over by the tavern? Oh, there he is, okay. It wasn't as far as I thought. Hello? Hello, do you need some help? Yes. Okay, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodlewonker. Legend has it that it was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk. Killed my wife years ago, too. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking off those who wander off alone in the forest. You'll know it's near by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you will need a sword, but not just any sword. THE sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when the Snoodlewonker attacked. I never wanted it to find the weapon, so I hid it under the shed near your home. Oh! The problem is that the shed is always locked now, but I know someone who can get you in. Banna the delivery girl. You know, the person running around town? Please save us, Lindy. Running around town? Is that like the little bunny rabbit I always see running around? Is this you? Hey, come back. Hello? Oh, hey, punk, get out of the way. I don't stop for anyone. Wait, Morton sent you? I knew this moment would come. I'm not much of a talker, so you better listen and you better listen fast. There's a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. Of course there is, because why wouldn't there be? It's hidden, so you're gonna have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be inside there somewhere. Godspeed. Okay. How hard could it be? I mean, I feel like it's gonna be... Oh, so that means my house, though, I need to go back to the other... Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? The final quest of the game is sure to be a fun one. Let's hurry to the chamber, I'm so excited for us. Yeah, I'm excited also, and a little concerned, but... Back home we go! I think Banna said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe we should try interacting with the back of it. Okay. Oops. The back of my house? Will you enter the chamber? I guess so. Oh, that's not concerning. We made it to the chamber. There's the shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take the one that you feel a connection with. Will you take the calculator? No. 
Ooh, man. Will you choose the scythe? And a teddy bear? Will you take the teddy bear? Shed key. That was a... Okay. Um, I don't know, because I feel like based on our decision, like, it's gonna affect what happens. But, uh, I I don't know. That, that seems like that would be bad, because it would be, like, death. Maybe we'll take the teddy bear. Just to be on the safe side. It's so cute and helpful in emotional situations. I'll keep that in mind. Great. So... Oh, wait. We got the shed key. Okay, so we can open the shed. You vaguely remember the shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. Can I not use the key? How do I... I already forgot how to play this game. How do I access... God damn it. What was the inventory button? Hmm. Oh! Place the shed key on top of the cat. Nothing- oh, god damn it. Okay. Shed door is now unlocked. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't remember what button we had to use for that. Okay, this is uh, fine. I'm sure. Nothing to worry about. Lawnmower? Covered in rust and grass stains? Grass is blue, right? Mm, no. You've already taken what you need. It's somehow locked again anyways. A workbench for a working human. Whoever used it last left the hammer out. You're not really sure what lies in this bucket. It looks alive, but quite stiff. So much blue paint. Hmm. Okay. I was just seeing if there was, like, anything else we could click on. So it is, like, the shed we had in the text story, where there's, like, a... A thing. Scratches on the wall. Oh. Well, this is deeply concerning. Oh. Okay, great. Swords added to your inventory. You found the sword. Great. We should head back to Morton so we can fight the Snoodle Wonker. Alright, I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Hangman. Maybe even better than Rock, Paper, Scissors. Let's traverse back to the north and give the sword to Morton. Okay. I hope nothing terrible happens to us. Have you found the sword yet? Show it to me once you find it. Remember, talk to Banna if you haven't already. Oh, okay. Uh, here you go. I got it. Incredible. I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot wield it anymore. Now we need to act fast, for I am afraid it is drawing closer every minute. There is a small tree that is blocking a path to the right of Tortelli's house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now here's the hard part. The Snoodle Wonker lies just beyond that tree line. You will need to slay it for us. I know this is a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many situations. When in doubt, use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of unworldly, unworldly power. Good luck, Lindy. You're gonna need it. So is it just... just is it just, like, OP as fuck? This accomplished nothing. Well, it was worth a try. I don't know, is there anything we would need a sword for? And is he talking about the tree back here? Like, what about this tree? You ask the stump to take the sword, it declines. So it's worth a shot. Oh, Tortelli is the turtle, right? Okay, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. I feel like this tree wasn't always there. Interesting. Also, hold on. I am curious. 
Could the sword free the guy that's in the, uh... Can we just go up this way? No. That's in the cell up here? I don't know if it would be a good thing if we let him escape, but... I figured it's worth, worth checking out. Let's see. No way that'll fit through the bars. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I don't know, like, if we were supposed to free that guy. It wasn't like we were going for, like, 100% completion on this anyways, but I figured it was worth a shot. I don't even know if you can free that guy. Like, who knows? Alright. I don't know why that tree was blocking the way when I could just, like, walk around it. This isn't concerning. This isn't concerning. Oh. What? Well, what if I... Oh, interesting. Okay, the sword is, like, broken as fuck. Hello? Wait, Groncho? I mean, the Snoodlewonker? Yeah, go slay him! Hi, my name is... The Snoodlewonker. I'm having quite a bad day. I could really use something, anything, really. I've been so depressed after the accident. If only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodlewonker. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. That's pretty cool, I guess, but I kinda want something even cooler? Oh no, it's forced me to kill him?! What else would be cooler? I don't feel like a picture. That's pretty cool, but I kind of want something even cooler. Uh, I don't know what else to give you. Wait, you have to slay the Snoodlewonker first. Wait, you have to slay him. Okay, they're not- they're not letting me. Do I have anything I could give you? I don't know why he would want a glass of water, but... I figured- oh, maybe a hand? Hmm. I don't think we need to go back. Okay, so they won't even let me go back. Alright, well, unfortunately, I guess I have to m kill you. You swing the sword in front of you, you hit nothing. Oh, I guess... <laughs> even in this game, my aim is bad. Did you just... For me? Wow, you shouldn't have this. Like, this is amazing. Oh, shit, wait. Did I give him the sword? This is just the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. Oh, that's, that didn't play out how I thought it would. You just made me the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day. I feel like we- Wait, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah, great job. Very well done. Let's get back to town and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. I feel like we possibly did a bad thing. That was such a scary fight, huh? I just can't believe how brave you are. Mm. <laughs> I bet the town is gonna throw you a huge party. Mm. So sus right now. That's not, uh, concerning. Wait, that's not- that wasn't supposed to- hmm. Okay, this is fine. Groncho must have been lying. Let's just hurry back to town. Oh, the music, right. Let's hurry. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's actually terrifying. What? We're so scared? Why? Why is everyone creepy? Wait, no, no, you didn't even have the sword. Okay, just wait, I just need to think. Just ignore everyone. You have to kill it, Lindy. I don't have a sword. I don't have a sword, though. 
You probably can't even go home, right? No, of course not. The battle's locked you in. How? What do I do? <laughs> I am so... <laughs> kill it, kill it. Oh great, now it's angry. Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. I can fix this, I can fix this. I feel like, I feel like you can't fix it. Okay, that's better. Now I just need to duplicate the sword, no problem. How is it still read-only? This is so awkward, I'm so sorry. Just keep running around, I guess? Okay. Well, I'm like, stuck. Oh, I can't actually- Okay, time to panic. Okay. Wait, never mind? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Oh no, it's kidnapped Tortley, the mayor. We have to go save him. Wait, what? How? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. That didn't go exactly as planned. Anyways, it looks like the sun's going down. It's been a long day and you need rest. Let's just go home. Um. Go home and sleep. Oh, this is so creepy. Wow, you look exhausted. You need to sleep. Okay. Not concerning. Excuse me. I bet you're super excited to get home after a long day of adventuring. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm glad we had fun today. Wendy and Buddy against the world. Like, what? Oh, home sweet home. Wow, today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. I... I guess... I guess I'll trust this. Hey, I'm so sorry about th that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes that's just how things go. But I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here, so I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you. For us. Rest now. A new journey awaits. I feel like the game is going to change entirely when I go to sleep. Well, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. I let you sleep in a bit because you seem so exhausted from yesterday, but I have some good news. Notice anything new? That's right! While you were asleep, I decided to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever, don't you think? I also have so many cool things planned, and to be honest, I'm just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should get going and explore the new dimensions. It might take a bit to get used to. This is weird as hell. Super weird. I have a little surprise for you. It's her favorite color. Okay, now we can get going. Oh, this is super weird. You're gonna love this? I feel like I'm not. Welcome to the new and improved outside world. And hey, look, we already have a visitor. It's Grancho. I wonder what he's doing here. Hey, Lindy. I've been looking all over for you. Good thing this mailbox has your name on it. I just came by to apologize. I should never have pretended to be the snoodle wonker. That was a complete lie. I never should have done that. Especially after you gave me one of the best gifts I've ever received. The sword is so cool and powerful, I just can't thank you enough. My life has truly changed for the better. Everyone wants to hang out with me now. I finally get to play my first game of hide and seek while I wasn't where I wasn't the only player. These past few days have been the best of my life, thanks to you. I would even go as far as to call you my best friend. Oh, this actually works out perfectly. Go take your sword back. The sword added to- Hey, what are you doing? That's my sword. I can't believe you took back your gift. What kind of friend does that? Jeez, I'm so upset right now. I can't believe you. Give it back. Please don't make me fight you. Oh, jeez. Wow, he did not take that well at all. Well, now is probably a good time to mention that I added combat. Um, say what? 
Okay, so you see that bar near the top left of the screen? That's your friendship meter. It determines the level of self-confidence you have. When it hits zero, you have to leave because you're not so sure about yourself anymore. But don't worry, hopefully it won't ever come to that. Now our enemies don't begin with any friendship points. Just keep attacking them until they like you. You have to impress them. Please just give me back my sword. What in the fresh hell? Did I mention that you can block? No. Probably not. Good thing Grancho is just a weakling. Check this out. A, to defend yourself? You need to tap the black the block button. You have to time your blocks perfectly. If you're off, you might get hurt a bit. If you completely miss, you will take the full force. Always keep a sharp eye out because every enemy attack will be different. Okay, try again. Did I do it? Unsure. Now that his attacks are over, it's your turn to fight. Also, I thought it would be fun to let you name your very first combat move. What would you like to name it? Oh, jeez, this is a lot of pressure. Uh, I'm just gonna name it attack. You wanna call it attack? Yes. Okay, ah, yes, the legendary attack. Select it and use it. Okay, I feel like this is bad. You see the floating button? Each attack also has a button you need to press. Okay. For attacks, though, the keys will be randomized every time. Now go ahead and hit the right key there. That'll do a lot of damage. Don't make me fight you, I don't want any more trouble. Incredible, I think you're starting to get the hang of this. I'll have more to talk about once you beat up Grancho. Not sure if I dodged that correctly? That was pretty cool. I still don't want to hurt you though, please stop. I don't know that I have the option to stop. I don't think I blocked that. Oh, oh shit. I'm really bad at, at blocking? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed, but please just give me the sword. Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's really hard to time that. Apparently I did actually dodge there, because I don't see that we got hit. Okay, fine, just take this stupid sword. I just want to go home. It's okay to cry, Gotcha. Oh, I feel so bad for him. What a baby, but hey, you got the sword back. You should also check out your new and improved inventory. Whoa. Look at the details. You can also read about your character abilities and equipments. You didn't think I forgot about all those items in your bag. Now every single item in the game can be equipped to modify how you fight. What? Now try changing your equipment? Even when you're moving the water state, how could- This is just- but it will boost your max friendship. Slightly extends the duration. Um, good choice? Yeah, I feel like we want that. You press tab to exit the inventory. Okay. Now let's explore. This is so, so weird. Like, <laughs> this is really freaky. Yeah, let's go across the pond. Yes, this is so weird. Our home was a lot of fun to make, but I can't wait to show you what I've been working on next. I put so much work into this game, so much for, so much for work for us. I hope you love it. Please let me know if you don't. I won't be mad, I'll just try harder. Okay, onwards to adventure! I sure hope nothing terrible happens. Okay, we're here! We should hurry on up to the town. I got something to show you that I think you're gonna love. It's debatable. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, hey again. I'm afraid I can't join you on your quest. I heard what happened to the mayor, though. I think everyone is waiting for you in town. I'll just be here alone. That's okay. I'm content with my place in the universe. Might just dip my feet a bit deeper in the water today. Goodbye and good luck! Is he gonna die? We're almost there. Yeah, this is- are you ready for your surprise? I can't wait any longer. You can have party members? Everyone you helped yesterday can now fight alongside you. The ones you choose will join you on the rest of your adventure to save Torley. Sadly, 
Those you did not help cannot be taken with you. Each town member has a unique- Oh my god, we're gonna have so many townspeople. Has a unique move. You'll be able to leave the town once you have two members recruited. Okay, recruit two people. Other than me, of course. Just head to the forest east of town. Okay, obviously we have to recruit the rock. I mean, that's a no-brainer. You came back. I knew you would. You're a good person, you know that? You have gained my full respect, Lindy. It would be an honor to join you on your quest to save the mayor. I need to finish what I started. I must avenge my wife. May I join you on your quest? Absolutely. Thank you. A cool hat was added to your inventory. Oh, look, he's on a skateboard. I love that. Um, okay. That was weird. The mayor's house was, like, all glitchy. Um, I don't know. Who else would we want to have with us? Can we take, like, one of the little bunnies? Hello? It's good to see you again. Thank you for saving me and my children. I'm forever in your debt. In fact, I'm willing to sell my life away to you. If I can take all my kids, of course, I'll gladly throw them at her enemies! Dad of the year? What do you say? Heck yeah. Oh boy, my kids are gonna be so happy. We're losing our house tomorrow, so this works out. Oh my god. Come on, kids, we're going on vacation. Timmy quick figurine added to him. Alright. Well. Look at him, he's so cute. Alright, we got two people, now what do we do? Hey, Lindy? Yes, Lindy, I think my memory is getting better. I remember you helping my lost belongings. That was so nice of you. I really want to return the favor. Didn't someone just get kidnapped? Oh yeah, the mayor. How could I forget? Aren't you going on an adventure? That sounds fun. Oh, pretty please, Lindy. Take me with you. What do you say? Can I come? Although it looks like your party's already full. Would you like to swap someone out? No, sorry. I'll be right over here whenever- wherever that is. So... Oh, you- oh right. He did say that we could go back for the food. Hello, welcome back. Your dish is finally ready. After mixing together Buddy's breakfast, glass of water, and a hand, we made something that smells delicious. You get to name it, so what would you like to call it? Um, mistake in a bowl. Oh, <laughs> Mistake soup. Mistake soup, I love it. Also, I hear you're going on an adventure to save the mayor. I'd love to tag along. You'll be able to try out so many new dishes. Mm, that does sound tempting. Tortley is a really good friend of mine. I don't want to see anything bad happen to him, so what do you think? Can I come along? Although it looks like your party's already full. Yeah, well, guess what? We're not taking you, sorry. I have to see the little bunny guy throw his children at the, <laughs> the enemies. I'm taking my one and only break. I don't have time to play little search and rescue games. Bye. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I don't know where we go. It always smells so good over here. Hmm. Maybe we go towards, um... Back over to the mayor's house towards like where the monster was supposed to be. It looks like we're ready to continue our journey. Once you leave the area, you can still come back. You just won't be able to recruit anyone, so make sure you're happy with your party. When you're ready, you walk into the forest and we can begin our journey into the unknown. Okie dokie. This isn't creepy or concerning at all. Oh, before I forget, you can also talk with your party members using the party menu. Who knows what they might have to say. But don't forget, you can still talk to me with the B key. Okay. Loading the Bloodlands. Welcome to the blood the Bloodlands, the home of the Blugs. Just pretend it smells really bad here. All right. I forgot to mention you can use left shift to slash your sword. Oh, okay, that's really convenient. Well, isn't that a familiar face? It's Grancho. Oh, hey again, Lindy. I just wanted to apologize. I'm sorry that I became so angry after you took my sword. It was yours originally, so you deserve to have it back if you want it. I think we should just be friends again. Wait, who are they? 
Did you recruit party members from an, for an adventure without me? Oh shit, we're gonna fight again. Why didn't you ask me to join? I'm sorry. Let me get this straight. You stole my sword, then decided to go on an adventure with friends, and didn't even think to invite me. I thought we were friends. Now I'm upset. You're officially unforgiven. You don't even deserve to continue this adventure? Oh my god. Wow. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. They'll deal double damage. Ooh. Grancho wants to fight us again. Good thing you have new friends to help out. Defending works the same way as before, except now you have two more keys. Oh god, this- You know what that means? This will show you for being such a bad friend- Oh god! You're gonna notice a new rest button. If things are getting too rough, you can take a breather and sit out a turn. This'll heal you a small amount, too. Everyone also has a special attack move, including yourself. I thought happy thoughts would fit you, since you carry a warm heart. It's a healing ability that'll make sure your entire team stays alive. These moves can be quite powerful, so they do have a cooldown. You just need time to take time to time your blocks perfectly. Okay, enough of me rambling. Let's fight. Um, all right. It's like the blocking thing. Why couldn't you have invited me? I was literally at your house. Oh. Let's do a kickflip. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit, that did like 40 damage. I would have given back your sword anyways. You could have just asked. Uh, okay. Oh my god, he's literally throwing his children. I can't. I can't handle this. You're just too cool to argue with. I'm leaving. Okay. I think we did, like, pretty good, considering. Wow, that was incredible. You really did a number on Grancho. But I hope he understands how much we love him. After all, we just want him to be our friend. One last thing. Your party may have taken some damage in battle. If you open your inventory, you can select a party member to see a new feature called Compliment. You can type out something really nice to that character, and they'll be completely healed. If you need to be fully healed, I'll compliment you myself. Use them sparingly. They are not easy to come by around here. I'll just be here alongside- okay. So, we probably shouldn't, like, use it right away. Are they gone? What the hell are you? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh no, that creature looks like she could use some help. Hello, I think I hear footsteps. Is someone there? Please, I have nothing left to give. Uh, yes, we're here. Wait, you don't sound like a blug. You need to help me. They took my babies. The blugs are gonna eat them if we don't save them soon. I would find them myself, but I can't exactly see without them. If you can do this for me, I can get you across the water. Although I did hear a giant rumbling sound not too long ago towards that direction. Probably not important. Anyways, return once you free all four of my babies. A mother should never be without her children, especially when she's blind without them. <laughs> that is so fucking weird. But okay, I will go look for your children. Ooh, is this a note? Note reads, I'm headed to my lunch break since you're late again. Ten. Make sure that Isla's baby stays well protected until dinner. Don't forget, one of the levers is lying. One is telling the truth and one is doing both. Feel free to ask them about it. Let's see if you can solve this. Oh, sweet Jesus. It'll only hurt them a little bit? North is lying. They should be flipped right. I'm supposed to be the left. Please believe me. Don't listen to South. Oh my god, I didn't mean to talk to you twice. The West should be neutral. Leave me flipped to the right. Neutral. Please believe me. Don't listen to the South. <gasps> I actually did it? Holy shit. That was pure luck. I think one of Isla's babies might be in there. You should break it open with your sword. Oh, stupid sticky keys. That puzzle was tough, but I'm sure Isla will be thankful. 
It's important to do fa favors for others to receive their thanks and appreciation. Okie dokie. There's nothing else down here, right? Well, we saved one of your babies and that's not creepy at all. Oh, there's another one. Watch out, you almost stepped on me? Just because I'm so tiny and hardly visible doesn't mean you can't waltz around. I could have died? Anyways, I can't let you pass unless you answer three of my riddles. I'll give you a moment to mentally prepare. Okay. Time to begin the riddling. If you want to save that kid, riddle me this. Jack's father has three sons. Snap, crackle, and what? Wrong? What? Snack, crackle. Am I crazy? I feel like it's pop. <laughs> I really hope we can save the kids. She must feel so alone without them. That must be scary, being alone. Whoa. You're never gonna save those kids. I feel like you might be right. Oh shit. I don't know how to do this. No! Oh my god. Alright. Uh... I feel like this is the fight that's gonna kill us. I need three? Can I not do that? Ooh, that actually did 16. Am I have to join you on your next adventure? Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Oh my god. All of the big- <laughs> Don't let this adventure scare you, they're nothing compared to us plugs. Oh, no. Um... Okay, might do happy thoughts. Um. Maybe I should have done the other guy, I don't know. You're all just a bunch of dorks. He looks like he's, like, not gonna be in the fight that much longer. Okay, I can't lie, you're just too cool. My eyes have really opened. Okay. Went surprisingly well. I don't even want to eat Isla's babies anymore. This fighter is just so talented. <laughs> Well, they seemed nice. You should try slashing this one in the back. You'll get to attack first if you hit them before they can before the encounter. Well, I'm sure nothing no terrible will happen from that. <gasps> we still have to fight them? We need to fight, but why? Take some of this. I'm so glad we brought him as a party member. Now I feel confident. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. I think we still got hit. God damn it. Like, I'm really bad at this combat thing. Oh shit, god damn it. I guess I'm gonna go home starving again, but at least I made a friend today. Wow. Okay, one more butterfly. Oh shit. 
It would help if I didn't mess up the fight, the attack. Maybe this will kill him. Maybe this adventure isn't so bad after all. Well, I'm off. Bye! Good job! They're never going to forget us. Yeah. Never. Alright. That looks like it could potentially be another fight. Which I kind of don't want to get into the middle. <laughs> um, Alright. I feel like that's going to be a good stopping point. Was it something I said? I feel like that's going to be a good stopping point for us today. Um... I guess this game still has more in it. Honestly, I thought we were maybe near the end, but now I'm not sure anymore, so I don't know. Uh, lots of weird things have happened. I'm kind of hoping some of the more like spooky stuff comes back into it next time, but uh, we shall see. Yeah, I think we're just gonna wrap it up there, come back soon, and call it a day. <laughs> I did not mean to jump out of that so quickly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next episode. Bye!